Okay guys, this is Adventures in Trucking. And once again, we have another adventure in trucking. So today we have this John Deere crawler loader on the trailer. Uh, let's see what the number is. This is the 450K LGP. So it weighs 21,000 pounds. Uh, we came here, we're in Edenton, Georgia, picking this up. And they told us that it was not oversized. Uh, the weight is not a problem. We can scale the weight on the trailer. But if you look across this blade, this blade is over width, which makes this oversized low. So uh, you can't hang on a blade. I mean, you can handle it the other way, but you have the same problem on this side. And this is as deep as the blade will angle. Um, you can't angle it hard enough to tuck that part back in onto the trailer. So we're in negotiations with the uh, broker now to have this rate increased on this load. This is now oversized load. We can't drive at night. We can't drive before sun up. We can't drive after sun down. So the rate is definitely going to change and this load also requires permits now. So we're negotiating with the agent to be able to, or the broker, to be able to get a, a much increased rate on this load. If not, they will take this off the trailer and I'll leave it right where it sits. Uh, and this is like the third time in three weeks. If you guys have been following along, you'll see that we have picked up a load in the past. With two green pumps we had on here that were on our truck. Fast Eddie was doing some dirt and they had us confused with Fast Eddie and we ended up having to take the load off our trailer. And here we are with this load, which is no fault of our own. We were told it's not oversized, we get here and it is. Um, and that just basically changes everything. You know, we need permits now. Uh, the requirements to be able to run this load is gonna extend us out. We could have drove this load all the way to Michigan if it wasn't oversized, we'd have been in Michigan in the morning. Uh, but now that's not the case, we can't drive after dark. So this is essentially a two day load now. So uh, I need to be compensated for that. And if the uh, broker is not willing to do that, we will, we will drive it right back off this trailer and get on out of here. I'm not taking it. Uh, they can take it off my trailer and I'll move on. Yesterday's price is not today's price. So adventures in trucking y'all, you cannot write this stuff. This is what we're dealing with. We're trying to get it worked out. Uh, I'm waiting on the broker to get back to the customer. We have given them a new price uh, that will make it worth our while to stay on this load. If they're not willing to run that price, then they will. I will take this off my trailer and we'll move on. But uh, just trying to give you guys an update. This is just a day in the life of Adventures in Truck. supposed to get going to Michigan is not on the trailer it was a dozer that ended up being oversized because of the width of the blade and they just weren't willing to come up on the money on the rate and we're not taking an oversized load for regular rates especially when it's now a two-day load so anyhow long story short we dropped that back on the ground where we, where we had it. We put it back on the ground, took it off my trailer, and Hot Shot Shorty found us this load, which is only about 15 miles down the road. Uh, essentially, it's paying the same rate. It's going a little further, so we're actually gonna make a little money on this load than the other load. Uh, but this load is going to Texas. So we started out going to uh, Michigan, and now we're going to Texas. But this is just an F450 from a truck conversion company here in Georgia, <clears throat> and it is going to Texas. So. We've got them strapped down with car straps. These are the straps I had from when I transported cars. They have the cluster hooks on the bottom here. So it's got all the different types of hooks on it to allow you to hook to different things. So we're hooked into the frame here. Same thing on the other side. And then I've got another uh, two inch strap going over the front axle. We have no points of contact on any suspension components. None of the frame hangers. None of the, uh, uh, front arm hangers here, straps not touching anything. This this ain't moving. So we got clear line of sight path here. So that gives me two points of contact on the front, but front of the front axle, two points of contact behind the front axle. These are going forward, and then I've got the over the wheel choker style 
it's giving me a point of contact here in the rear same thing on the other side and then also at the final end i've got chain going through their provided um, rings on the back of this truck so all together we have literally eight points of contact maybe it might be overkill but uh as i always say if you can't afford to get it wrong do it right so yeah we've got it secured onto the trailer real solid, rock solid and we're gonna go ahead and start making our way to texas with this so uh y'all stay tuned Okay, y'all we are headed out to texas with this load We're going to new brunsville texas we finally got everything worked out uh, as far as getting the brakes and everything redone on the trailer um, had to go back and redo a couple of bearings um, set them according to dexter specifications and still had a lot of slack in the bearings when you go to pry up on the bottom to check the preload the hub and the assembly was still moving around so i had to move them in a little bit tighter found out that I actually had one of my seals that wasn't set deep enough and that was causing a drag uh, anyhow we got that we got that all sorted out so today is Sunday afternoon uh, Falcons are on uh, but no worries we're getting ready to hit the road here in an hour or so and uh, we'll start making our way to New Brunfeld Texas to deliver this we already spoke to the broker uh, he's very understanding thank goodness and you know you have breakdowns in the course of what's going on and we discovered it when we got back home with it already on the trailer so at that point you know we already had to load on the trailer so he's been very understanding we're gonna go ahead and get this out to texas and we'll see what we find when we get to new Brunsville, which is just kind of near san antonio um, and we'll see what kind of week we end up having so uh, we thank you guys for sticking with us we thank y'all for tuning in uh all the new subscribers we're growing still so thank you guys all the new subscribers for that um and we'll be dropping a video here soon.